with a nine year of support, which only going to cost you $299.99 for a complete nine year. That's my suggestion, sir. But the choice is always, choice is always yours. Thank you for calling customer support. You're talking with Peter. How may I help you today? Uh, hey, Peter. Um, I got this um, error message that says um, my computer's being hacked or something. Okay, sir. Can you tell me, is there any error code? Would you see there any error code? Um, Why can you explain me? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I see one. It's a 268D3. Okay, and uh, have you made any changes? Like, have you clicked on any malicious link, any advertisement, or any pop up? Uh, I don't think so. Okay, great. And uh, do you have any antivirus on a computer? Any antivirus or any security on a computer? I think so. Yeah? Yeah. That's good. And sir, can you help me which Windows you are using right now? It's Windows 7, 8, or 10? Windows 10. Okay, great. So don't worry, sir. I will definitely help you and I will solve this problem permanently. So I'm telling you some steps so you have to follow with me, okay? Okay. Yeah. So, sir, look at your keyboard at the very left bottom corner look at the very left bottom corner and do you know the microsoft windows key on a keyboard yes great and the place find the another key which is letter r r as in romeo please find the letter r key on the keyboard S support connection enter your six digit code correct and uh, let me give you the code and sir, please do not share this code to anybody, okay? It's a personal security code, which I'm providing you. Okay. Okay, sir. Yeah, your code is 911. Okay. 752. Okay. Yeah, nine one one seven five two. And when you're done, click on start download. Okay. And when you click on start download, whatever you get on the screen, please tell me, okay? Whatever you get. Yeah, it says, um, there's a box that says LC support, and it says connecting. Yeah, click on OK. Yeah, click on, and whatever you get on the screen, like click on OK, yes, run, follow that options, okay? All right. Okay, now, you will see my name, which says Peter, want to connect your computer to make a changes. So click on OK there. You will see my name with the name of Peter. To click on OK there. All right. Mm -hmm. And your name is Brain, right? Brain. Yeah. Brain. Okay, so Brand. So I can see your screen. So let me go and you can leave your mouse, okay? So no need to worry. Oh, okay. And can you help me? Uh, do you do online shopping and banking on the computer? Do you do that? Um, no, not on this. Okay, okay. So do you have any other computer? Apart from this computer? No. Okay. Let me check the security. Is it working fine or not? Okay, so let me tell you, Bran, you are having a simple security for your computer, okay? It's not... It's showing here, it's protecting you, but it's not protecting you, okay? Let me go ahead and answer. How can, uh, can you help me, Brian? How old is computer? I'm not sure how mm -hmm. old it is because I got it from a friend, but I had it for like, like two years. 
okay so you see that here network connectivity assistant microsoft corporation and it's stop right now you see that on network security yeah So let me tell you, you were not having a network security on your computer. So that's why you were facing this problem, okay? The network security is not working protection. So in the antivirus which you have, it is also not working fine. And apart from that, you were not having a network security. So let me go ahead and check the last thing. The damage on the computer so I can fix this computer permanently okay so then let me check this network security all right yeah okay can you and sir can you help me for what purpose mostly you use this computer for office work or the home basic works pretty much YouTube. Okay. Yeah, I have Let like check. this computer is hooked up to my TV, and um, I, I only use it for YouTube mm -hmm. and like Netflix and stuff like that. Okay, okay. So you are a student or you work? Uh, I work. Okay. So you can see here, Bran. Uh, there are so many damages on the computer. And you can see, I think you know that about this see here, and in total, three thousand fifty-five. Oh, so yeah, so it's a good time you call us, and we can face this problem permanently. So you can tell me, do you want a network security for a computer to make this computer permanently safe and secure? It's up to you. Um, and the security, how much is it cost? the security which you have, and the security which you have, it's not working fine. So the security which we will install, the network security, it will work as an antivirus also, and plus the network security also, the both securities. Okay. Oh, okay. So um, like what what brand is yeah. that? Like the price or the brand? Both. Okay, the, br the brand of the, that network security is Microsoft. We are from Microsoft, so we will install all the Microsoft securities. And the price is for one year, it will only cost you $99.99 for one year, okay? Okay. That doesn't sound bad. And for... I'm sorry? That sounds like a good deal. Yeah, and for, let me tell you, and for and plus i'm providing you support also the one year support in a future if you face any problem with the computer like it's running slow the, do you feel the computer is having virus you're not able to print from your printer or you forgot your password and you want to recover it so no need to worry you can simply give us a call and we will take care of that problem okay all right and let me tell you one more thing. We will put the icon on your desktop screen. The most important thing. I will put this icon on here with this icon. You see the plus blue icon? The plus blue icon. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I will put this icon here. And whenever you feel uncomfortable with the computer, so no need to worry. You just simply double click on that icon, type your name, and click on connect. Your computer will automatically connect to the technicians, okay? The shortcut icon to connect with the technicians, like right now, which you with me, okay? With remote control, okay? All right. Yeah, I just told you the one year plan, the 99, and the two year plan is for 149 the two year and for three year it will cost you one ninety nine dot ninety nine dollars okay so i have a three plans for you one year two year and three year so it's up to you which plan would you like to go let me type it for you it's i think it's better for you the one year 
Net for security. Plus, I'm providing you one year support. It will cost you $99.99. .99. And the second one is three year net for security. Plus, the two year support. It will cost you only $149. Dot ninety nine. The last one is for three year, and here you're getting one benefit. Here you're getting one one more benefit. The transfer service. You know what is this transfer service? Uh, um, Let me explain to you. Okay. Let me tell you. In the future, brain, if you purchase any new computer, like any new devices, like any iPad, tablet, or any devices, new computer, any device. So we will transfer your this service to your another computer, any another devices as a free of cost. Okay, we will not charge a single penny for your new devices. Okay, and it will only cost to you one ninety nine dot ninety nine for including the transfer service, like for new computers or new devices. So it will include it in it. Okay, Bran, so you can tell me, it's up to you. I will not force you which option, which option would you like to get? All right. Mm -hmm. I don't see myself buying another, like, um, computer or anything in a couple of years. So, oh. I guess I'll do them. But, um, but I, it's, uh, I will suggest to you, it's up to you. I will not force your brain. And in a future, like, if in a future, if you buy any new mobile phone or tablet or any iPad. So you, you, you can add a devices on it. Otherwise it's up to you. I will, I will not force you. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, um, I guess, um, two year. Okay. So you will go for option two, the two year, right? Uh, yeah. Okay, so Brain, I want this information from you because I have to register you in my record. So I want this information from you, okay? The number, the name, the address, and the email ID, okay? Can you, uh, oh, I'm sorry, I just typed the wrong one. So please uh, type, fill this information for me, Brain. Oh, okay. Yeah, take your time. And uh, Brain, do you have any another number? I think you have. Um, I put them both there. Okay, great. Because if because the technician will call you in monthly for a tune up and clean up of your computer, like the basic monthly checkup. Okay, so the the technician will call on both the numbers if the one number is not available. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you can provide me the address. Take your time. Okay, just allow me a moment. Let me transfer this information to the network department, okay? Just allow me a moment. Okay. And Brain, can you help me uh, Which for which way you will like to pay? Like, the, it's a credit card, debit card. Like, which card do you have for the payment? Um, you buying have plan? A I have a Visa card. You are you are having Visa card, okay? So, okay, brain. So I'm opening the payment portal front of your eyes, and you will fill your all the information then and there yourself. And please do not speak anything on the call because it's training and quality purpose, okay? So please do not speak anything, and you will fill all the information by yourself, okay? All right. Yeah, just allow me a moment. And let me tell you again, Brand, if you face any problem in future, so no need to worry, you can call us or you can use the icon, okay? Which I told you. Oh, okay. Yeah, and don't worry, the technician will let you know how to use that icon, okay? Like how to use the icon. So don't worry, the technician will tell you. All right. So I'm opening the 
yeah so i'm right now i'm opening the payment port in front of your eyes so you will fill all the information then yourself yourself and do not speak anything on the call and brain what you do like you are a businessman or you are an engineer I, I work at um, a bank and I do a, accounting. Oh, that's great. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, Brian. So you take your time and you will go ahead and fill the information which is on the card. Your name, the last name, everything. Oh, okay. And John, you, uh, and Brain, you can select the card, the card type. Uh, you just told me it's a MasterCard. Yeah. You can select that. Oh, uh, it's it's a Visa card. It's a Visa card. Okay, okay, okay. Take your time. Oh, okay. And you can select the expiry date and the security code. And when you're done, just allow me a moment, okay? Let me type the plan in comment, okay? Let me type the plan in comment. All right. The option two, which you do. Yeah, just allow me a moment. So, Brian, you're going for two years net for security plus two year, year support, okay? Am I correct? Uh, yep. Just slam you. Okay, so Brain, uh, please go ahead and check it again. Like, recheck your all the information. So all are correct. Recheck uh, all the informations. Uh, yeah. yep. And Brain, I think you don't have any middle initial name, right? The middle initial name. I think it's a Brain Johns on the yeah. card. Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, let's let's go to proceed the payment. Just allow me a moment. I think that there is something wrong. Just allow me a moment, okay? Oh, okay. We are having so many, like the billing department, so security purpose. So we have to check the which one is good or not. Sometimes the server is, server is down. Just allow me a moment. And uh, the the... And which from which bank the card is which you, the card is provided to you? Which bank of the uh, the Chase card, Chase card, the Wells? Yeah, it's from um Bank of America. Bank of America. Okay, you can check there if you receive any uh, email or any message on your mobile phone from the bank. Oh, okay. Let me check that. Yeah, because you're using a chip card, so every chip card having a security. So you can check that. And do you have any another card? Do you have any another card, Brain? Yeah, I do. Okay. And and which card is that? Like, tell me the name of the card and the bank of that card. Yeah, uh, this my other card. It's from um. Oh, let me see. It's just from Chase. It's Chase. Yeah. Okay, so I'm. I'm. What I'm gonna do? I'm transferring a call to the Chase department. Okay, the security department, public dealing security department. Okay. So just allow me a moment. Yeah. All right. Okay, Brian. Just allow me a moment. Thank you for your patience. Your call is ready to transfer to the billing department. My name is John Wilson. How are you? Uh, I'm doing pretty good. How are you? I'm great, sir. So I believe, Mr. Brian, you must be using a chip card, correct? Yeah. Yeah. So let me tell you, first of all, you're using a chip card. In every chip card, the bank puts some security. And in this case, the bank needs your permission. Sometimes the bank, they will send you some emails or some text on your cell phones or your email, okay? Yeah, I, I checked that and, um, I didn't get any. Did they give you? Um, no, I I looked in my email, in the uh, in the um the app and stuff. Huh? 
I didn't get any like notification. <laughs> no, no, it's for that. What you can do, you can use a check. You, you can use your che, uh, Chase Bank card here, and in every Chase Bank, sometimes the bank he will provide you some emails or some things on your on your cell phones to rectify that you are the one who make this payment or not. Okay. Oh, okay. So might be doing this. You are receiving um, permissions from authorization from the bank, so you can use your Chase cards, Mr. Brian. Okay. So you're working on a bank, correct? And you go and you go for the security. There's a two-year security for one forty-nine dollars ninety-nine cents in the U.S. dollar, correct? Uh, yep. Great, that's a great plan. But uh, Mr. Brian, uh, can I ask like why you want to go? Why you uh, why you will not go for the nine-year security? Because you are using a uh, Windows 10, correct? Uh, yep. Yeah. So let me tell you, this Windows 10 is expired on tenth of fourth. 14 October 2025, which means a nine year year, correct? Um, so in this, in this, Windows 10 is expired on 14 October 2025. It's from now to till nine years. In this nine year security, you don't have to spend any single penny for a computer or a security for any of your devices, okay? Which is going to cost you, which is going to cost you $299.99 for a complete a nine year security. Um, I've never heard of um, Windows expiring before, but um. Uh, uh, okay, just give me, just give me a second. Uh, let me let me show you. Here. Uh, life cycle. Correct. Well, so that, they're I, using I, a I Windows Ten. That, you know, like Windows um, Seven is going to be like cut off soon. So like. Yeah, Windows. Windows 10, yeah, Windows Ten support is going to expire. Like it's been ended and Windows 8 security is been ended. But if you talk about you're use you're using a great Windows, it's on Windows 10, correct? Uh, yeah. And you can see Windows 10 is expired on 14 October 2025. You can see here end of support, correct? Well, uh, I'm probably gonna get a new computer by then anyway. Great, but let me tell you in the security in this nine year security. Let me write this for you here, okay? Well, um. This is my suggestion, sir. This is my suggestion, but yeah, you should you go for the 149. That's great, but it's my suggestion. It's in this nine-year security. It having the nine complete nine-year security for a computer. For other computer, that is a transferable security. Okay, like if you purchase any computer in this nine year of time, you don't need to pay any single penny for the security for the Windows. Okay. Oh, okay. With a nine year of support, which only going to cost you two ninety nine dollars ninety nine cents for a complete nine year. That's my suggestion, sir. But the choice is, always, choice is always yours. So, like, if I get two years right now, could I upgrade to that later? No, if you if you take one forty nine dollars ninety nine cents for two years now, after two years, if you if you go for the nine year security, if you go for the if you go for the nine year security, it's going to cost you a four ninety nine dollars ninety nine cents for a complete one year security because the original price of the security for an uh, entire virus is only forty nine dollars. But yes, for the Windows security. It's going to cost you forty four ninety nine dollars ninety nine cents for one year, but yes, nowadays for the as for the new year we are running this promotional offer and we are giving to all the user of a Microsoft. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, for nine year. The choice is always your always the choice is always yours, Mr. Brian. If you still want to go for the two year, that's great. But uh, this is my suggestion for the nine year security because in this nine year time, I believe the Windows is always for the nine year because Windows ten is expire on 2025 in this in this line of time no new windows will become and in this line of time if you purchase any computer you don't need to spend a single penny for that devices because you, you're still covered for 2025 so okay for which you're getting a risk yeah for which you're getting a receipt so you want to go for the mining security not really <laughs> All right, so you want to go with a two-year? Uh, yeah. All right, all right. So you can you can use a, a chess card. This is your, this is a card number, correct? Yeah. Now you can use a you can type the expiration date and security code. Security code code is the last three digit back of your card. And everything is everything is correct. Like your name, your first name, and your last name, your address. Everything is based on this card. Uh, yep. 
and this is a Visa card, correct? From the Chase. Yep. And this is the same email which is registered with this card, correct? Uh huh. And all right. So let me click on let me click on continue here. Now let me submit or submit order for you. All right. So I believe now you can you can can you open your email here, Mister Brian? Can you open your email because you are using a Chase card and you are receiving an email from a Chase bank. Uh, okay. Because this is this is a chip card which you are using, correct? In every chip card, the bank puts some security, and he will send you the authorization on an email to rectify that. Yes, so Brian is the one user who make this payment or not? Just give me a second here. Can you tell me? And sir, I can check your cell phone. I believe you receive any text message on your cell phones. Um. Okay. Yeah, I didn't get anything from any bank. Yes, bank. Uh, yeah. Yep. You have to authorize. You have to click on a yes. Like you have to give a reply as as a yes. Yeah, I didn't get any like like notification or text or anything. Don't don't you receive anything? Yeah, like usually when I buy stuff, I get like notifications all the time. But this time, I'm not getting anything. All right. All right. So, might be shortly you receive authorization. Shortly you receive the authorization from your bank. So what I can do right now, I can work on your computer. All right. Mr. Brian? Okay, but um, it doesn't look like I'm gonna get any like text or notification anytime soon. Is it possible there's something wrong with like that credit card system? No, like uh, first, uh, first of all, what we can do first of all, we work on a computer because sometimes it happens. Might be your server is not working great. Oh uh, yeah, but I got let, like let full bars and like and everything. Oh. So, my, so whenever I do any payment, I believe you receive every time you receive the text message from your bank, correct? Yeah, like I used it today at like a Seven Eleven, and uh, I got like the text instantly. Yes, to authorize the payment, right? Yeah. All right. So uh, what you can do, you can uh, we can try it once again. My view again, you receive the same. Again, you receive the text message. So can you please, uh, if you don't mind, can you type the card number once again? Um, okay. Because might be your, yeah, because it seems like your server is not working fine. Sometimes the server is busy, it's not working fine. So the same problem arises once again here. Okay. And, and, uh, expression is, that is correct, correct? Uh, yep. And can you please, uh, type the security code? Which is, a lot, which is on the last back of your card, the last three digit code. Okay. Let me just click continue. Yeah, let me click on continue here. Okay, I clicked it for me. Let me submit your... Alright, sir. Uh, what I can do, you can see here, this server, your server is not working fine, okay? Your server, bank server is busy right now. There's a reason the payment is not done here. Can you see here, at this time? So what we can do right now? First of all, first of all, we work on a computer. Huh? Okay. So what what kind of work are you gonna do? Oh, uh, first of all, we can install the security and everything on your computer. Okay. okay. For which we need to work around thirty to forty minutes here. We need to install all the security on your computer, which take around thirty to forty minutes. Once the work has been done, we again call you back. We will show you the security, and then we can process for the payment that time. Okay. So um. Is uh, scamming um, it's cool. like something you like to do on your free time, or is this like your main job? <laughs> no, sir. Oh, okay. it's a real job, so we have to install real security. Don't worry for that. Yeah, Getting a genuine you're, security. You're charging me for something I don't need. Like, 
There's nothing wrong with this computer. Sorry? There's nothing wrong with this computer. You, it charged you... me for something I don't need. Oh. So you have a pop-up similar to this. But it's, this one's not yours. Yeah, I... But you have one similar to that. This is a, yeah, this is a pop right now, so... So, like, you have one of these of your own, but... You think it's, mm -hmm. like, legit? No, so this is not legit right now, let me tell you. Yeah, but it's you have legit. one as well. I have video proof. This call's been recorded. Oh, this call is recorded? Yeah. Oh, let me tell you, sir, right here you, uh... Click on wrong links. Well, it's not really a wrong link. It's just a misspelled YouTube link, and, um... It's full of these little pop-ups. Oh. 